Greetings from Neuron Themes. Welcome to yet another video on WooCommerce, where we will be giving an all-encompassing comprehensive series of tutorials. Since WooCommerce gives you a basic clicking display of a product, and there is no much you can customize, with Neuron Themes, you will be able to manage it and design it to the full extent. You should know that you will need to add your products to the back end and putting simple nomenclatures like the title, price and stock so that when you customize the page on the front end, all there is left to do is add features and design the page to your liking. To start designing your product page template, go to Templates, Theme Builder, Single Product and click on the Add New button. Name your template and click on Create Template. From here, you will be presented with some of the most ravishing pre-made design, specifically for product pages, that you can easily integrate with just a click and customize to the full extent. But for this video, we'll design our product page from scratch. Here, on the Elements panel, we have all the elements you need to complete the most capable product pages. Here you have the product title, product images, product price, short description, products are related, and much more. Without further ado, we will add a section with two columns. Next, let's change the width of the first column to 55%. By default, the second column will take the value of 45%. Let's drag the product images element. It looks great. Now let's remove the sales flash. And that's perfect. Let's edit the second column. Under the widget space option, we will put the value of 16 pixels and add some left margin value of 60 pixels. Let's add some breadcrumbs and the product title to the design and no need for further adjustments here. Next on, here you have the product title. We will need to add some product ratings. Let's drag the elements for it and make some slight changes. Like the color of the stars and their size, which we will set at 0.9 value and the space between them will need to be set at 8 pixels. Let's drag in the product price element. Here we will change the sales price color to make it distinct. What's a product page without an add to cart button? Let's add one to elevate the functionality. And here we will make some slight adjustments. Add some padding values. Change the color of the add to cart button background and the color of the text. Add some more padding values at the advanced app. You can add additional information by integrating the short description element. Now let's add some product made onto the page like the categories, tags, or the stock of the unit number, which is a distinct type of item that distinguishes it from other items types. Let's style it a little bit, set the space between the made items to 10, set the color for the made tags, and tweak the typography options for the link. Add some weight of 700. To make a clearer separation between the metadata, we will add the respective categories under the caption section. Next, go to the advanced tab and some bottom margin of 25 pixels and add some top and bottom padding of 20 pixels. Let's add some border to emphasize the section. Now let's add some strategic social icons to finalize this first part of the showcase. Drag in the element for the social media. To match our design, we'll need to style our social icons. Add some more icons. Let's change the color. Make it custom so it pairs with our design. Customize their size and spacing and that should do it. Let's add another section. And as per usual, let's add some top padding of 100 pixels. Let's drag in a heading element. We will name it Related Products, as we are going to showcase some more products that are related to our product page. Add some more padding values at the Advanced app. To do that, we shall drag in the Product Related element. This too needs a little adjustment. So let's start with the image size, which will need to be set at full, image ratio at 1.38 value. We will need to hide the add to car button. And also on the same note, we will need to hide the sales flash as well. Lastly, in the layout tab, let's change the value of the row gap to zero. In the advanced tab, we'll add some bottom padding of 30 pixels and a border that will serve as a divider between the two sections. All the elements we used in our template are dynamic elements. 
meaning they pull the data dynamically. You can preview how your design looks for other products. All you need to do is click on this preview icon here. Click on settings and under the preview dynamic content option, select the term you want to filter by. Choose another product that you want to display. Click on apply and preview and you should see how your design will be implemented onto all other pages. Lastly, you can add conditions to your template design. You can assign your template to all your product pages, but you can also select a specific term or category. Once you're done, click on publish and you should be able to preview the changes immediately. Let's see how our design looks. It seems fantastic. Let's style and design our product archive page while we're at it. We established that you should have added your products and their corresponding informations. Now let's open a new template. The same procedure will take place. Go to the WordPress dashboard, templates, theme builder, and click on the product archive tab. Press the add new button and name your template. Our neural library comprises of multiple stunning blocks and designs for every occasion, but let's build this one from scratch. First things first, let's add our products into the page. For that, we'll need the archive products element. To save us time and trouble styling the element, remember the single product page we designed? Now let's copy the style of the related products and apply the same style here. Simple as that. As per usual, some additional changes will need to be made, such as removing the Add to Cart button and the ratings. From the Advanced tab, let's remove the border we added in our previous design. To see how our archive template looks on other categories, let's click on the preview icon here. Click on Settings and select the product category we want to display. Click on Apply in Preview to see the changes. And for the last tab, we have the Conditions tab. You can assign your product archive template to be implemented on all archives or choose a more specific taxonomy. Once you're done, click on Publish and that should be it. Let's preview our design. And it looks amazing. Enjoy the flexibility the Neuron theme gives you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and tutorials.